The South African Reserve Bank, in partnership with the Department of Basic Education, has announced the top 10 finalist teams and winners of the 2023 Monetary Policy Committee Schools Challenge. The MPC Schools Challenge is the SARB's flagship social investment program aimed at broadening grade 12 learners' understanding of monetary policy and the critical role the bank plays in the economy. The MPC Schools Challenge offers learners an opportunity to grow their understanding of the role of uh, monetary policy in improving the economic well-being of all South Africans. Now learners who must take a combination of economics and pure maths as subjects are given the opportunity to put theory into practice by setting up an MPCT modeled on the bank's monetary policy decision-making body. Now, the program uh, complements the extensive work done by the bank through its partnership with the South African universities and, its, and which is aimed rather at developing much needed human capital in the fields of finance and economics. Now, to tell us more, we're joined uh, by two of the participants, Oamim Fiko. Uh, he goes to uh, Clean Vista High School. Uh, he's in studio with us. And then on uh, virtually is Anupaishe uh, Kowero uh, from the winning school, Paul Girls uh, High School, who joins us now in, uh, uh, in Paul. I'm going to start with Anu. A very good morning to you, Anu. Welcome to Morning Live. Tell us a little bit about how you became part of this, um, uh, 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 the Reserve Bank Partnership Program. Good morning. Thank you uh, very much uh, for the opportunity. Um, right, so how I came about to be a part of this team, what happened was last year, our teacher explained that, you know, there's this there's this um, competition that you guys can be a part of. Mm. And uh, just everything that it entails, you guys need to be a team of four. So my friend and I, Eloise, which was our governor, I said to her, Eloise, I really like this competition and look what we can, you know, stand a chance to win and look at everything that we will learn. Would you like to enter with me? And so she said, yes, she was actually thinking about asking me. So that was good. So we were two and we were looking for other two people. And then the teacher said, I need your names at the end of the day. And so we said to, the, to our teacher, OK, it has only been the two of us. We haven't identified um, any other girls that, you know, want to participate with us. But at the board um, in front of the class standing with her already were my other teammates, um, Megan and Lara. And then the teacher was like, well, here are two other members. And I think you guys would make a perfect team. So that is how we began. Uh, came about to be a team. Yeah. Um, Owami, how did you become part of this? Uh, well, my school won uh, the competition in 2021. Right. And that's how we were exposed to it. Didn't know about it. Uh, then uh, last year, I said, we need to enter this competition. Okay. Uh, I rounded up my team, which was Unati uh, Mazibuko, Lulonke Kita, and Mashallah, and I said, you guys are the best in my class. We have one economics class, by the way. Yeah. And I said, you're the best in my class. I'm taking you guys and we're going to win this thing. Yeah. yeah. And what is it about economics that fascinated you so much? Economics just it makes sense. And mm -hmm. its application, it just makes sense. And um, the economy is a very important uh, sector. And uh, safeguarding it is, is very important. Mm. So learning about it and how it works and it impacts us, the economy impacts us. So learning about it is just fascinating, mm -hmm. it's just amazing, yeah. Anu, tell us a little bit about the competition. I mean, you won as a school, but what does this competition entail? Take us through uh, that day. Right, so firstly, I'll just start at the very beginning, uh, like very shortly, um, I'll, like the first day of the competition actually started on the 18th of February, mm -hmm. where we went to the uh, convention center in Cape Town, where we were given a brief of what is about to be happening over the course of the year. So this wasn't something that took place over like a month or something. This was uh, an ongoing task that took place since February, mm -hmm. and you find out the results in August. So we had to uh, do a lot of research regarding economics and everything that has happened mm -hmm. uh, from you know last year in the last quarter and maybe the third quarter as lo um, of last year as well to um, see what it will what impact it will have on the economy now so you do your research all the way from february and then on the 19th of may we gave in our first um mpc statement mm -hmm. which was 
stated everything that we um, researched and what we were going to do with our repo rate decision, what we had decided to do with our interest rates. So mm. now that you gave that in on the 19th of May, then you hear back on the 30th of June if you are a finalist or not. Yeah. And so when we heard uh, we were finalists, we were overjoyed. And so um, after uh, they tell you that you have made the uh, top 10 schools in the country, then you go to... Um, Pretoria. And at Pretoria, um, we were told that we were going to be having a briefing session where in which we'd have to um, answer to in a panel of, of international economists. And they were asking us uh, very difficult questions about the economy, really. And we had to answer this. And so we had been prepping the night before saying, OK, guys, if they ask you a question about uh, demand, you um, approach it from this way, you approach it like this and answer it like that, then come the morning. You go down with your team and um, then you go and you present. Yeah. The governor presented a speech, but ours was a unique case because our governor lost her voice. Mm -hmm. So I had to present the speech. <laughs> yeah. um, so then that um, we did it and we felt good about um, our panel session afterwards. And then you just wait for another week. And then on the 15th of August was the announcement. Yeah. Oh, I mean, take us through your plans in preparation to this. You know, um, Anu spoke about, you know, the MPC and the repo rate and preparing for that. Speak to us about those days in preparation for that. Uh, difficult, long yeah. days. Um, <laughs> we had to sacrifice a lot of things. Mm. I also had to do an economic analysis like uh, they did, mm. looking at the domestic outlook, the global outlook as well. Uh, and that, though that information would uh, inform our repo rate uh, decision, uh, we also submitted an essay. And uh, we we're supposed to hear back on the 30th of June, if I'm correct. Yeah. And we didn't hear back on that day, and I was very scared. Yeah. I, I messaged everyone, I was like, guys, we did it. Um, we worked hard to reach this far. And then the next day, the email came and said, you made it to the top 10. And we were overjoyed. And that's when the real work started. We had to prepare our presentation. Mm. We had to get our facts in order. Had to get our house in order and make sure that everything uh, goes according to plan. And that when we present to that panel of judges, it's just, it's mind blowing. Mm -hmm. It just takes them, uh, uh, takes their breath away. And uh, we were very confident after uh, presenting uh, but making it to the top 10 was just an achievement on its own. Yeah. Yep. I wanna, I'm curious about the next repo rate. What would you do? What would be your decision? Well, um, so let's start from March. March, when we done our uh, analysis, mm -hmm. uh, that was in yeah, March 2023, this year. Uh, the uh, inflation was at 7.1%, mm -hmm. right? And then in the end, uh, in the end of August, it was 5.4%, uh -huh. right? It went down. And recently, right, a few days ago, it's uh, gone to 4.7%. So it just shows that the Reserve Bank cycle of uh, increasing interest rates has paid off, right? It, the results yes. are, are showing. So, um, and in the previous uh, MPC uh, meeting, uh, the governor held on uh, increasing interest rates. Looking at uh, the inflation currently, I'd say that there is a 95% chance that uh, the Reserve Bank will hold. Yeah. But uh, remember that uh, the Reserve Bank wants to get inflation to 4.5%, which right. is the midpoint, but it's at 4.7%. At the moment. So, at the moment. Okay. So they can hold or they can increase by 25 basis point. but my money is on the holding part, okay. or they can decrease. All right. I need to ask Anno quickly before I let you go, would you uh, increase or keep the interest rate as it is? I will currently keep the, the interest rate, rate as it is. You will uh, keep the it as it is? Rate, yes. Yes. All right. Uh, lady and gentlemen, thank you so much thank for talk, such an inspiration. Thank you for coming through, uh, uh, talking to us. That was Oami Mfika as well as Anu Paishe Gowero. Both were participants at this year's Reserve Bank 2023 Monetary Policy Committee Schools Challenge.